Hi everybody, I'm Sue Allen Clayton. Welcome to my channel where we'll be learning the tarot deck one card at a time. Today's video is about the Ace of Wands. This video will begin with a short description of the card. Next I'll briefly explain what the Ace of Wands means when it appears in a reading. Then we'll talk about what each element symbolizes and what the card means when it shows up in both the upright and reversed position in a reading. I'll share some examples from my life so that you can relate to the card in a real-world situation. And stay tuned until the end and I'll give you several questions to help you connect with the card. I will be using the Rider Waite Tarot deck in this video. You'll find the link to the deck below as well as to the many books that I've used in my research. So let's get started. In this card, we see a bright white hand emerging from the clouds and holding a wand made of wood. You see 18 green leaves on the wand, so we know that it is alive. The sky is gray. At the bottom of the card, we see a river with three trees. The grass is lush and green. We also see a mountain range with a castle toward our left. When the Ace of Wands shows up in a reading, it signifies that you are being given the gift of a new beginning and need to take swift action and pursue your dreams with enthusiasm. Wands connect with the element of fire, so basically you need to get all fired up to get started with your new endeavor. The Ace of Wands can signify creativity, as in you get a flash of inspiration, as well as success in everything from your career to growing your family so it can signify pregnancy or the birth of a child. It can also represent travel. Let's look at the symbolism in this card. First of all, we see a bright white hand emerging from the clouds. You would expect the hand to be flesh-colored, but the fact that it is white with a white aura means that you are receiving a gift from spirit. White is also a sign of a beginning since no color has been added to it. The wand is in a right hand, so this card is about new ideas that involve creativity and inspiration. The hand is in a thumbs-up position, which also speaks to the potential of this card for things to go well. The wand is made of wood. As I said earlier, you can see 18 green leaves surrounding the wand, so we know it is alive. There are 10 leaves attached to the wand, which brings us to the 10 the ending of the journey that begins with the ace. The wand also looks like a phallic symbol. This can be a symbol of sexual desire, excitement, and starting a family. It can also signal the desire to go out into the world and create opportunities. The sky is gray. Gray is about being neutral and impartial. On top of the mountain, we see a castle toward our left. The castle is a home, and homes represent protection and security. The castle also represents success, as its occupants would have control over a large expanse of land. If the person being handed the Ace of Wands was to achieve their goals, success would be the outcome. The river at the bottom of the card must be crossed in order to reach the success represented by the castle. Water is all about emotions and going with the flow, so there may be some emotions involved in this journey. The three trees towards the right side of the page are symbolic of growth, creativity, and potential. The grass is lush and green. This symbolizes fertile ground and potential. The color purple shown in the mountain is a symbol of spiritual goals. In tarot, mountain ranges symbolize obstacles, so there may be some obstacles involved in the journey from the potential of the ace to reaching your destination in card number 10. When the Ace of Wands appears upright in a reading, it can indicate that you are feeling optimistic, fired up, and eager about your new project. You believe that things will work out. It can mean that your creative juices are flowing, you feel flashes of inspiration. This means that you come up with inspired, creative solutions to problems so that you can make the most of these opportunities. It might mean that you feel virile and are ready to start a family, or you are excited to travel. It could mean that you are being presented with career or business opportunities. And because this is a wands card, it is about action. This means that you don't just think about things, you actually take action to move your projects forward. 
An example of the upright Ace of Wands from my life is about a new beginning in my life, which is starting my YouTube channel and posting videos about learning tarot. I had a YouTube channel previously for my coaching business. It didn't do very well because I never felt inspired. I was doing it as a marketing vehicle and trying to follow all the rules for success, which meant that I tried to appear as an ultra-competent coach who you'd like to hire to help with your business. I shut down that business due to health problems and took a year off. When I started posting videos about tarot, it was because I loved learning about tarot and wanted to share what I'd learned with as many people as possible. Unlike my previous videos, these are a delight to create and not a chore. Hopefully my excitement and enthusiasm comes through. I feel like I've been handed a new beginning in life. I'm feeling creative and inspired and excited to see where this goes. When the Ace of Wands appears in a reading in the reversed position, it can indicate a lack of enthusiasm, lack of motivation, or lack of effort which causes a project to fail. Or you could have too much enthusiasm which leads to false starts and not being focused. It can indicate blocks to creative projects. Perhaps you lack inspiration or feel bored or depressed. It can mean that you want change to occur but the right opportunity has not presented itself yet. For instance, you want a new job and have been sending out resumes, but you haven't yet received an offer. It can indicate delays or cancellations relating to projects or to travel, or difficulty with getting pregnant. It can also indicate feeling powerless, frustrated, or impotent. Here's an example from my life about the Ace of Wands reversed and it is about being too enthusiastic. When my family first moved to Long Island, New York, we moved from Phoenix, Arizona, where our lawn was made of gravel and cacti. We bought our new home from someone who loved gardening, and my kids, who were 9 and 12 at the time, fought over who was going to take care of some of these seven gardens on our property. We were so excited to begin our journey of becoming master gardeners. I took a couple of courses at a local gardening center and learned all about soil pH and what kind of plants worked well in our area. And then I spent a lot of money on various seeds, bulbs, annuals, and perennials. We were on fire with enthusiasm. However, we soon discovered that none of us liked gardening. Not even a bit. My kids didn't like digging in the dirt and my daughter in particular wasn't thrilled to encounter worms and other bugs in the soil. My kids soon decided they vastly preferred playing video games to gardening. I quickly realized that I hated weeding and that sitting on the ground hurt my back. Plus, I didn't like being outdoors in the hot, humid weather on Long Island. Every year for the next few years, we covered over another garden with topsoil and filled it with grass seed. This was an example of being too enthusiastic. I think if we'd started off with one garden, or maybe even a more modest number of plants, we might have liked it. We've lived here for almost 18 years, and I still hate gardening. Here are some questions to answer to help you connect with the Ace of Wands. Number one, what possibilities do you see in your life? Are there any new ideas, challenges, opportunities, or experiences that fire you up? Number two, what keeps you from completing projects? Number three, how can you be more creative? What is holding you back? Number four, is there somewhere where you would like to travel? And number five, would you like to become pregnant or grow your family? I'd love to have you post your answers or insights in the comment portion of this video. Thanks for joining me and I hope to see you in the next video when we discuss the Two of Wands.